वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश ट्वेंटी टू सो स्टेटमेंट इज ए फ्रॉड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टॉर्क ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन इंटू मीटर पर मीटर डिटरमाइन द रॉड मिनिमम रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर डी इफ मटीरियल हैज एन अलाउबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द रॉड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई दिस यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टॉर्क क्लियर एंड द The allowable shearing stress is seventy-five megapascal. So you have to find the required diameter of this rod. Clear? So let's start with the solution. So first step we will apply here is internal loading. So let me write it. So internal loading. The maximum internal torque. The maximum internal torque develop in develop in shaft in shaft occurs at a why because you can see at this point you will be have a reaction torque and that reaction torque will be in opposite to this torque and this torque will be equal to maximum torque and how we will know this so you have to convert this uh, uniformly distributed torque into torque net torque and that will be like this one and its value will be 1.5 multiplied by total length which is 0.6 meter into 10 to the power 3 to convert it into meter so i will write it so if you convert this uniformly distributed torque into net torque so this torque will be equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by total length which is 0.6 and this will be equal to the maximum torque because they are both uh, keeping this body in equilibrium so now you have maximum torque so you will move toward allowable shearing stress allowable shearing stress so allowable shearing stress is given so allowable shearing stress is equal to maximum torque into c divided by j so maximum torque is 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 0.6 and the unit will be newton into meter divided by okay you have to multiply by c so c is not known and c is equal to d divided by 2 because we are interested to find out the diameter divided by pi by 32 d power 4 that is the formula for polar moment of inertia for cylindrical body solid cylindrical body so now you have allowable shearing stress given in the question is 75 mega pascal so 75 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by 0.6 multiply by d divide by 2 and we will having also pi by 32 multiply by d power 4 d power 4 so again when you solve this you will get d is equal to 0.03939 meter or you will get diameter will be equal to 39.4 millimeter so this is the diameter of rod that can be used in order to support this uniformly distributed rod the uh, uniformly distributed torque of 1.5 kN per meter and the material that has allowable shearing stress of 75 mega pascal i hope you are enjoying my videos those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching